In question 5 of this exercise, the problem statement says that in the figure that you see on the right, the two triangles are congruent. The corresponding parts are marked. We can write angle uh, or triangle RAT congruent to what? So the two triangles are congruent, but we have to write this congruence relation. We have to complete this congruence relation by keeping in mind the correct order of the vertices. Okay, so the problem is that the two triangles are not in the same orientation. So we have to carefully observe which vertex in triangle RAT corresponds to which vertex in the second triangle. And to do that, we can observe the angles, angle pairs which have been marked as equal. So we see that angle R is equal, marked equal to angle W. So we can say that the vertex R corresponds to the vertex W. Then we see that angle A is marked equal to angle O. So we can say that uh, the vertex A corresponds to the vertex O. And then we, we see that angle T has been marked equal to angle N. So vertex T corresponds to vertex N. Okay, so this means that triangle RAT, if we now take triangle RAT, this will be congruent to uh, R corresponds to W, so we write W first, then A corresponds to O, so we write O next, and then T corresponds to N, so we write N. So triangle RAT is congruent to triangle WON, and this is how you can complete the congruence relation in the question. Now, one thing that I do, uh, one trick that I use when when I have to compare two congruent triangles which are not in the same orientation. So in this case, the problem is that uh, triangle RAT and triangle uh, WON, they are not in the same orientation. So we have to carefully compare the vertices. But one thing that we can do and which I often do is, in my mind, I reorient or rotate one of the triangles so that it is in the same orientation as the other triangle because then the vertices are easy to compare. So let me show you what I mean. So let me take this triangle NOW or WON and let me make a copy of this triangle. Okay. And now I will uh, try and rotate this triangle so that it, its orientation matches the orientation of angle of triangle RAT. So if I do something like this, okay. Now if you, if you compare uh, this triangle, with this triangle, you can see that the orientations are now the same. So the uh, angle at R corresponds to this angle at W, then the angle at A corresponds to this angle at O, and the angle at T corresponds to this angle at N. So by comparing this first triangle and this reoriented second triangle, it's easy to see that RAT, if you take triangle RAT, it corresponds to uh, the co co congruence relation can be written as W O N just by comparing the vertices one by one. So this reorientation in your mind uh, is actually a very helpful trick. And as you go in higher grades and as you do more of congruence problems, uh, you will see that this trick uh, technique is uh, quite helpful to solve problems related to congruence. Okay, so this completes question number five. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.